Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm back with another video flip through of a planner slash journal. And today's planner overview is, as you can see here, the Jibun Techo. And this one in particular is the Jibun Techo Standard, and the size is A5 Slim. So here is the packaging that it comes in. The back just has um, kind of like a layout overview. So again, this size is the A5 Slim. Let me grab an A5 so you can see the size comparison. All right, so here's my A5 Midori. And you can see here that the, the length is exactly the same, but you can see as the name suggests, the Slim is a tad slimmer. Let me grab a B6. So this is the B6 size and you can see that the A5 slim is a tad, like ever so slightly, a tad um, wider than a B6 but the length is longer for sure. And then of course, A6 size, gonna grab one here as well to compare the size. So here is the size comparison. All right, so let's get into the anatomy of it. So again, this is the refill. You, it comes in many different um, like covers as well. I have my own cover, so I just got the refill. Um, it is the Kakuyo brand. There is exposed binding here, um, but it does allow it to lay flat. There are two bookmarks as well. And let's jump right in and I'll do a flip through. All right, so the paper is the Kakuyo thin paper. It is very similar to the Tomoe River paper. It's not but it's very similar. The first page is how to use the Jimon Techo. Um, so it has, this is the 2023 version, so this can change, um, but I know that most of the time it does include all of these things. There are translations um, to English, Japanese to English, like for the descriptions that you can definitely find online. I have a JetPens resource and I'll link that in the description box below. So next page, this is just like a layout example on how you can use this planner. Then there is the year at a glance for the next, for the three years. Oh, no, sorry. This one is the previous year, and this one is the current year, and this is the following year. Here is the perpetual calendar on two pages. Here is an H chart. Here is the My Dream 2023. So for the My Dream section, I'm actually going to look at a translation right now. And this column is goal, and this column is action towards achieving the goal. And it's broken down by category. So this one is work, study, qualifications, education, finance, savings, health, beauty. There's a, the list goes on. I'm not going to read all of it, but I will link this down below um, again as a description. So this is really just for goal setting. I think it's a great template. Money plan, so financial tracker, and these are all the months. Japan map. And then we get right into the template. So this page acts as a guide, if you will. So the way that this page is intended is a good year is made up of good days. Write down your ideal daily schedule. And if you're a student, you can write your timetable here. So maybe your class schedule for the week. So I think this is amazing 
to use as kind of like, you know, how do you want your days to look like? How do you want the morning routine, your evening routine, things like that to look. This is the 100 wishes list. So this is like kind of a bucket list, honestly, a list of 100 things you want to try this year. Favorite phrases, this might be, you know, you can note down if you're reading a book or a movie, quotes and things like that. Recommendation list, book list, and I think it has the ratings as well. Movie list, gifts received and gifts given. Promise list, and what a promise list, uh, it says, that here, if it's really hard to promise from memory, um, at the moment it's made. So this is a great place to list out these promises that you might be making. <laughs> and this is just a free list. You can use this page however you would like. Okay, so now getting into the bulk of it. This section is the, I call it the habit tracking section because I think a lot of people use this for habit tracking. I think the actual term for this is Gantt chart or Gaunt chart. So what uh, Jibun Techo says to use this page as is you can see this from a long, you can use this from a long-term perspective. For example, managing projects, um, and tracking the project, making a checklist of habits, a graph of your weight over time, or a chart of stock prices. Um, so it's really great. It has all the days listed at the top for each month, and it starts in November. So it goes on all the way until 2024 April. Yeah, 2024 April. And then we get right into the monthly section. So the monthly section looks like this. There's a checklist on the left side, and then each of the days have kind of like a mood tracker. And then at the bottom here, it gives the previous month, the current month, and the next month. Okay, so we'll get into the weekly layout. This is what the weekly layout looks like. It has a checklist on the left side uh, weather icons at the top. The weekend is a different color shading. And then it has the time from midnight to, to midnight. And what's cool is that the midnight to six portion is condensed because it's probably assuming that, you know, you're sleeping. So that's what that looks like. And then it's evenly spaced it out during the day and the evening. The bottom of the weekly layout has a mood tracker again. And then it has like a sunset and a sunrise, I think, and a nighttime. I know people use this to signify morning, day, and night. So that is the bulk of the beginning. Let's go look at the end of it. So at the end of the planner, there is looking back on 2023 with the months down like this. A Tokyo route map, very useful if you live in Japan. Wow, very useful. <laughs> World time differences. So if you have a friend who's, you know, based in the UK, for example, you'll know like, oh, okay, they're this time zone and you can easily remember the time of your friends personal data so I think there's going to be a translation for this um, but I think this is just your personal address and stuff like that and that's it that's the rest of the flip through so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave it down in the comments below and thank you so much for watching bye